I'm Emma Stibben, uh, I'm an artist who loves drawing and I'm really pleased to be a patron of The Big Draw. I'd like to celebrate Earth Day uh, with a drawing session that looks at the forms of nature. Like everyone during this lockdown, I'm housebound. I'm unable to go to the studio, so I'm finding ways to draw at home. I'm thinking about making a drawing as if my eye is a camera, capturing the shadow as it's cast on the drawing paper. I usually work from landscape, um, often hostile in fairly remote locations, and I start by drawing from observation. The physical experience of place is really important to me, and I like to get out there walking and gathering research in the field. Back in the studio, I make these really large scale drawings and prints based on this site based research. I've been really fortunate to witness these extraordinary places in the world, many of which are changing rapidly due to climate warming. I believe that drawing, like nothing else actually, can really connect us to place through not just our critical faculties, but also our, our emotional and tactile faculties too. Drawing is central to my way of seeing the world and I, I guess I think it's probably my first language. When I'm drawing I'm really absorbed in it and it's like entering another place. I often use fragile and fairly friable drawing media such as chalk on blackboard or kind of sometimes volcanic ash or materials that I gather out in the field. I love the way that the mark making that I put down in response to a subject both commits it to the page but also to my memory somehow. I've got an enormous recall when I look back at those sketchbook drawings. I can even remember like the weather and the time of day and how I was feeling. Without a doubt, I think seeing Antarctica changed the way I view my place in the world. The fact is that it's a continent that can't support human existence and yet it's teeming with life and I think that was quite a humbling realisation. We're just a species like any other and life is indeed very precious. In 2013, I was really lucky to get to the polar extremes of both the High Arctic and the Antarctic Peninsula on two ship-based expeditions. It provoked me to start a probably lifelong project of work that considers that increasing instability in the ice sheets and glaciers across the planet. It was something about witnessing these big icy expanses that made me consider the beauty of the place, but also the ultimate frailty of these big regions. And now I've got a really strong conviction about the need to communicate this urgency of transition and change. The currency of drawing has never been so critical and uh, I think it's a language that's shared and understood across different disciplines and cultures. While scientific data clearly demonstrates the impact of dramatic increases in global warming, it's really shown that there's this growing gap between our understanding and our willingness to take action. So creative methods of communication can actually engage our emotions and that's been shown, I think, to be far more effective in galvanising us to change our behaviour. I believe it's only through dialogue between science and creativity that we're really going to tackle these big challenges that we face today.